here we are my friends back for another episode of the trailer build so what we did last time if you guys missed it um, I highly recommend you go check out that video it was a super great one did a lot of cool stuff we built this pair of trailer axles here completely custom axle shafts RC four wheel drive stamped steel beadlocks and 1.55 dirt grabber tires Custom axle shafts, got some yaw racing hexes, custom axle housings as well. It was a super great episode, I highly recommend you go check that out, and I'll link it down in the description below for you guys. So, so what we're doing today is partially going to involve these axles, not too much though. What we're going to be doing today, which you guys already know by the title of the video, is we're going to be building the actual like deck of the trailer itself. So what we have here, it's not, this isn't completely related to the deck of the trailer. It's more related to the axles that we just looked at. So what these are, I made these spring perches here. Um, so basically, just a little piece of metal here. I filed a little dip in it, as you can see. Threaded the holes. And this is going to get welded onto the axle um, tubes that I just showed you. And then here we have one of the RC four wheel drive for the, or one of the leaf springs for the Galanda here mounted up. So that's going to be one thing that we're doing today. So and this here is what we're going to be doing for the most part today. Um, so pretty soon here, I'm going to throw in a time lapse of me welding this up. What this is is basically all of the steel that we're going to be using for the um, the trailer deck itself. These two pieces are 18 inches long. These two, these three even are nine inches they'll go between these I'll show you in a second and these are three inches three and a half just for a little bit of extra um, for the little angle down at the back and I'll show you what I mean here uh, in a minute so this here is roughly what I'm gonna be going for so this is going to be angled up because if we're actually looking at the bottom of the trailer this part is gonna be angled up this way so it's gonna come up like that or down even if you're looking at it um, the right way up and then of course the axles are going to be where they are and then this is the overall uh, like layout that it's going to be this isn't including the tongue up here which I will do later just because it's kind of a last step I'm also going to be doing these little pieces onto the axle shafts later not completely last but pretty much um, at the end so that I can line it up get them all straight on there because the welds do need to be filed down a little bit for them to fit properly. And there you have it. After that welding, this is what I'm left with. So what I did to get the angle here was I used um, an angle finder, which I already have set up here. Don't mind the mess, just trying to make it look nice for you guys. So I used this to basically find this angle here, which it's not exact, but it's pretty close. Um, I figured that this looked about right. And then I welded it, and there you go. It was a little bit twisted, this back piece. Um, but then the next step, basically, if we flip this over, is I'm going to be welding on mounts or like little brackets for the wood pieces. 
So I'm just using some like 1 16, not 1 16th, um, 16 gauge steel. And basically they're gonna go there. One's gonna go up at the front here. One right there on the back. And then a little skinny one will go there. And then if you guys haven't figured out, based on the way I'm laying these out, the wood is gonna go this way. Hello again, my friends. For me, this is day three of this video, um, but for you guys, it's obviously just all in one go. So, I welded on the little braces for the wood to go on. They turned out pretty good. So this, right now, you're looking at the top of the trailer. So what we're gonna do next is work on the axles, or on the little braces that, um, are gonna go on the axles to hold the leaf springs on. So on the ends of my axle housings here, I filed little, um, like I filed out some of the weld so that I can fit my uh, leaf spring perches on there like that. So that right there is how the axle housing is gonna sit on the perch, and then the perch then mounts the leaf spring. So my next step is to go and weld the perches to the axle tubes. And there you have it. There are my spring perches mounted on, or should I say welded on. I think they turned out pretty okay. Um, the only thing that I will say is that uh, they, the, the holes are not very straight. Something to keep in mind next time, I guess. Um, but I'll be able to make it work. My plan is to maybe widen the holes in the leaf springs so that I can actually um, like slide them around a little bit. But, um, yeah, I think they look pretty good. I don't know about you guys. What do you guys think? I think they look pretty nice. Not sure if you guys picked up on it, but to get it, um, to get them, like, straight this way, I used a piece of square stock. It's bigger than this. After I had welded on one side, clamped it, and used it as to hold in the other piece. As I was, as I just, like, tack welded it, and then I just pulled it off flipped it over, and ran the beads on the edges. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. We've done a lot. It's been three days for me. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this build series. I know that uh, one person, shout out to you, you, you came looking for this last weekend. Yeah, shout out to you for uh, coming and looking for it. Thanks for the support. Um, I'm, I really hope that I'm inspiring you guys. That is my goal here is to get you inspired to go and either get into the hobby of RC or expand on your collection and make it more fun for yourself. So 
Thank you all for watching. Um, next weekend, when you're seeing this, or for me, the next two weekends are going to be super busy. I'm going to try and get videos out if I can. Um, if I can't, I've got some pre-recorded stuff that I can uh, quickly edit and put up for you guys. That's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you think of this. Is it inspiring? Do you like it? Or are my welds trash? That's the other thing that I'm interested to know. Yeah, thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.